You're watching the Western Athletic Conference on ESPN. Week five of important college football brings us to Wildcat Stadium in Abilene, Texas. It's the WAC A Sun Challenge and the Central Arkansas Bears and the Abilene Christian Wildcats. And now welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. Zach Carlisle along with Andy Penny. ACU's won three in a row. Central Arkansas comes in one and three. We're glad to have you with us tonight on ESPN. Off we go from Abilene, Texas. A short kick, fair catch at the 21 yard line. Central Arkansas team on third down this year. It comes in at 40% as an offense. ACU's defense has been so good, 28% this year defensively on third down. Third and long. Smith has time, wide open is Hale. He'll pick up the first with ease and he goes into ACU territory, wide open underneath. And they find the connection for 15 yards. So fourth down, empty backfield. A lot of room in the middle here. You have to watch out for the quarterback draw, but empty backfield and a five receiver set. Just three to snap it. Will they go for it? They will. And a flag first for a false start. They're going to do this again on fourth and nine. ACU jumps, and here comes the flag. Now, were the Wildcats induced to jump over the line, or is this coming back five more? Jeremy Tate, the referee. Offense wow. number five, the five-yard penalty. The offense is the defense has three touchdowns this year as well. ACU going to fake it again. Earl with pressure, and he finds Kobe Clark, who goes down to a knee at the 29-yard line. Now Peyton Mansell takes over at QB. We're going to see both of them tonight, as they have done that all season long for ACU. Mansell's going to keep it all by himself to the left side. A wonderful athlete. He's still going into UCA territory, and he rumbles to the 41-yard line. That's 31 yards for Peyton Mansell. Mansell comes in the second leading rusher at 189, and boy, give credit to Colin James and Truett Knox. ACU 42% on third down this year. Earl, deep one, he's got Spadone open at the 15, spin move, he's gone, touchdown. <laughs> Alex Spadone, the junior, the transfer from San Diego has his first touchdown as a Wildcat. It's third and four, and it's a quarterback keeper for Braylon Smith, and he's got some space. Slides down out across the 45-yard line, putting drive touchdown back to work for Abilene Christian. They're going to start on the ground, and this is Jeremiah Dobbins, who has been banged up with a hamstring injury all of camp at Central Arkansas. First down for Abilene Christian at the 47. Earl to dump it to the left side in the flat. First down, Anthony Smith out of the backfield. Takes up and picks up a dozen yards to the 41. On third down, I think our record would be a lot different than what it is at one and three. This is a big play here, third and four. Wildcats scored their first touchdown tonight on third down as well. Earl's going to keep it. What a play call, and he takes it down near the 25 yard line and a flag flies and may be on the hit. Christian Kane hitting Stone Earl. That's a first down and this could be on UCA. Earl took a hit at the end of this thing. Yeah, that might be the worst thing that happened on the play, but a good play design. Again, a little quarterback counter design run the entire way. Easy to get the first down and this one might be 15 more on a late hit. Personal foul. The quarterback position. Type formation. And Earl off the fake. Time, time runs out into the end zone and open for the touchdown is Denver Holman. And what a start for Abilene Christian here at home. 
And give credit to the redshirt freshman, Stone Earl. That was a play designed to hit Kobe Clark on a short underneath crossing route in the left flat. It was covered. Pressure was coming. Earl gets around it. Holman stays with him, makes the catch. Two offensive touchdowns. <laughs> Maybe we are a team that's really one and three. Can they respond? They have the weapons to do it, but they go the wrong way on first down. Second down and 11 at Smith. We might be just seeing a lot of dropping back and throwing. Tyler Hudson can make men miss. Oh, look at that. Goes airborne, and he's close to the first down. I think they're going to give it to him at the 36-yard line. Tyler Hudson, my goodness. Look at the athleticism here. First breaks a tackle and then jumps over the second tackle. Takes a big hit right there on the some career touchdowns between the two of them. These two are incredible at the receiver spot. Third down, Smith, pressure, gets it away. Winningham, now he's all alone. Can they catch him? They will not. Touchdown, Central Arkansas. Touchdown, UCA. 57 yards to the All-American receiver, Lawan Winningham, his 25th career touchdown. Single coverage in the slot, throw it. Had pressure on Smith, but the tackle's not made there, and then no safety help, and when makes the catch, move the sticks, first down. ACU a perfect three for three tonight on third down. Remington loots the tight end in motion. Fake the Dobbins, time to throw. Wide open, it's Lutz. Down the seam, stays alive, keeps his footing, and he's tackled inside the five yard line by the safety, Kylan Stribling. They're gonna mark him out at the four, and he takes it 69 yards down the middle of the field. A good play design again. Safety help went to the SMU. His third catch of the year goes for 69. Unbelievable. First and goal for ACU. Go to Anthony Smith on the left. Got a block to the pylon. Touchdown. Touchdown. As you look at the offensive numbers, uh, UCA with 140 yards of offense, majority of it on their last drive. Going to reverse it and go back to Smith, and he wants Winningham. He's open. Luan Winningham is tricked up at the 35-yard line by Coy Richardson. Nearly took that to the house. Another big catch. Digging into the bag of tricks is Ken Collins, the OC. Smith fakes. Open. It's Winningham again. What a quarter he's having. Down to the six yard line. This kid is dominating 29 more yards. Here's the flea flicker. Yeah, just well executed. Reverse. Give it back. Winningham behind the defense. Richardson fortunate to get. Here we go. We wondered would they go for it? The answer is yes. Central Arkansas is going to go on fourth and goal at the three. They have yet to try to run down here inside the five yard line. Richmond in motion. Smith rolls, throws, it is caught, it's Richmond. Christian Richmond for a big UCA touchdown. Ham not targeted yet on the drive. Single coverage on the bottom side. Fourth and eight. Winning him, yeah, at the bottom of your screen. They're gonna pooch it. It's a pooch punt. Second time they've done that this year with Smith. That's a pretty good leg he's got to knock that down at the seven yard line. See what ACU does here with 49 seconds. No timeouts for the Wildcats. Quick throw. Kobe Clark, oh, caught that off the ground and then he's gonna hop out of bounds. That may, may be a loss or right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, no game. Well, that's one for ACU. I, I think that's tough. One, if that's an incomplete pass, the clock stops. Now that Clark goes out of bounds, the clock stops. UCA still does have two timeouts. So now ACU really forced to get a first down if they're going to run out this first half. Second and 10, now they'll hand it off. This is Anthony Smith, who in a helmet flies off. Caden Brown, the defensive tackle. Because of the timeout, he can come back in to the field of play, and that's what he's doing here on third and eight. ACU's going to hand it off. It's Jeremiah Dobbins. He's going to get stopped at the 10-yard line. Timeout UCA. Here's are coming. They've got 10 down. And Tyler Hudson standing at the 50. 
Gonna get it away. This is gonna be good field position. 49 yard line, Hudson on the return. He hurdles a man for the second time tonight. And this field position is inside the 30 yard line. 20 seconds to go. Smith. Gonna dump it off. This is Jack Short out of bounds. If they do throw it over the middle, they'd have to get up and clock it very quickly. Second down and seven. Smith, sideline again. Hudson open. And did he get out of bounds? He is not out of bounds, but the clock will stop because of the first down. But now they got to get up and clock the ball here. There's only two seconds left. The clock runs. One second. There's no time on the clock. This is going to be crazy. The ball's at the 10 yard line. Did they clock it in time? And we're going to see that the clock expired. Play is under review. You can look again at the replay here. You can see the clock on the, the back wall in the far end zone. There's two. And the clock is wound. And the clock hits. It's at one still, but the ball is already off of the turf. But once the ball is spiked, the clock says zero on the back wall. Empty backfield again. Smith to throw, Smith to go down. That's Will Morgan. The sack for Abilene Christian. The redshirt sophomore out of Forney, Texas. Two safety here. Playing cover two. Throw it and want the Bears to throw it underneath and go make the tackle, force him to punt. Third and 22, Smith. He might want it all. Down a sideline, winning him. He is open, and that is all Braylon Smith who finds his All-American for the first down on third and 22, he got 29. Down seven. Central Arkansas needs the ACU four yard line. Smith to throw to the end zone, he's got a man, it is caught. Christian Richmond for the touchdown, his second of the ball game. On an out route and a perfect throw from Braylon Smith. Central Arkansas, an extra point away from tying the ball game. Richmond, the slot receiver on the near side for two run plays. Does Stone get a chance to throw it here, third down and four. Empty backfield. They're going to let this kid sling it. He's got an arm to do so. And instead, they're going to keep it with Earl, and he is going to push forward. Uh-oh. He may have lost the ball. Central Arkansas thinks they got the turnover. UCA thinks it's theirs, and it is. The first turnover of the game is a big one. That's how they feel over there at Central Arkansas. They're that close. Third down and four. UCA seven for 11 on third down tonight. They've faced a lot of them. They're going to hand it off. Not much that time. Looking for Smith. He picked it up with ease. A few plays ago, this time loses one. Hit a 32-yarder against Arkansas Pine Bluff. Missed from 50 against Missouri State. It's a good snap, it's a good hold. That is no good. Hooked it and missed it left. 310 is their passing average, they're at 289. Quick throw to the outside, here's Winningham. He is so good in space. Takes it down inside the 20. And they'll mark him out at the 13-yard line. Position, just throw it out, let him make a play, and he makes a play inside the 15. They'll fake it, and they'll throw it again to the sideline. Now making a move at the 5 to the end zone. Touchdown. What a night, Christian Richmond. He's got a hat trick. It's his third TD for UCA, and the Bears have their first lead of the night. Now to mark him a yard shy, third and one coming up. Don't think a lot of folks expected this much running from Stone Earl. Now, under center, did he lose the ball? UCA thinks they forced another fumble. Earl fumbled earlier in the third quarter. Central Arkansas. Another takeaway for this UCA defense. 
disaster for ACU, opportunity for UCA to go up a couple of scores. It's a fake. Wide open, it's Winningham. What a night, he's over 200 yards receiving. UCA had been minus 20 in the third quarter this year. 14 nothing in the third quarter tonight. And now a chance to start the fourth with a bang. It's a fake. Smith dumps it off in a flat. The big fella. Touchdown Central Arkansas. It is Austin Eldridge, the tight end, the sophomore from Florida, goes home for the TD. Well, it's a great play design. Eldridge is in as the lead blocker. He's offset behind the left tackle. He comes across like a counter block, but then finds his way out in the flat, and the defense just gets caught up. Holding offense number 59, 10-yard penalty for the previous spot. Jacob Thielen, the right guard, the redshirt freshman out of Colorado. Check this out. His cousin, Adam Thielen. I know that name. Who I find out almost everybody in the country has been saying his last name wrong. <laughs> everybody calls him Adam Thielen, the wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings. Turns out it's Adam Thielen. Jacob, his cousin, is starting right guard for Abilene Christian. So go figure. You know, behind the sticks now, first and 20 after the after the uh, holding penalty, which makes it that much more difficult here at first and 20. By the way, Minnesota Vikings, big game tomorrow against the Cleveland Browns. Should be a good one. Here is a fake Earl. Time to throw. Remington Lutz. That's a big play to get the yardage back and then some. They get 18 yards to Lutz. Every time this guy catches the ball, it's a big play for ACU. The series history earlier, UCA has dominated this all-time series. ACU's beaten Central Arkansas once in their history. Earl fakes it, throws all alone on the backside is Smith, who's having himself a game down to the 16-yard line. First down, ACU, 19 yards. Go to nine minutes and 10 seconds. All right. Third down and 11 for ACU. A big play here. Earl. Time to throw. Time runs out. It is picked intercepted Nick Nakwasa and UCA trying to run it outside here they're going to get a big chunk in a first down trying to get up spectacular with the Matt Kitchens that defensive coordinator Smith back to work he has had himself a drive now takes off and gets out the midfield 25 yards on a burst for the freshman. Central Arkansas gets this. You can probably put a bow on this one tonight. Up by 14. They are going to hand it off to Arius Hale. He's got it. First down to the 39-yard line. Central Arkansas now up over 500 yards of offense tonight as they try to close this one out. Don't let the 1-3 and three record fool you. It didn't fool us tonight. Boy, they look good. Yeah, they really do. And a team that can go ahead and do some things in this whack ace on challenge. Sam Houston struggled tonight. Here's Darius Hale. Here he goes. Off to the races for the touchdown. touchdown UCA. Bow tie on the present tonight for Central Arkansas. Central Arkansas trailed 21 7, scored the final 35 points of the game to go to 2 and 3 on the season. Abilene Christian drops to Three and two after this one here tonight. Final score is Central Arkansas 42, Abilene Christian 21. It's been a presentation of the Western Athletic Conference on ESPN. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. Until next time, Zach Carlisle, Andy Penny, Connor Mullins, the whole crew led by Hutton Harris saying so long, take care, good night from Abilene, Texas.